Hey Jonesies, what's going on? How you guys doing? How are you doing with this quarantine life? Let me know in the comment section. What are you doing to keep busy? How are you doing? How are you handling this? How's your family handling all of these things? Talk, let's talk about it. Um, as for me, I noticed that since we've all been quarantined, I have saved a lot of money. And what I mean by that, I mean I don't have a lot of money, but I've saved more than what I spend. I have not been buying anything from Michaels. I haven't ordered from Michaels. I haven't ordered anything from Joann's. And I damn sure ain't ordered nothing from Hobby Lobby, but they crazy behind. So, um, so you know, I've been, my coin's been looking a little cuter than it has been, okay? Um, the only thing that I had to purchase was my kids a new TV and a TV stand because they TV blew out and they, they need a TV. So that's the only thing that I purchased. But other than that, I haven't really been buying things. If we run low on food, I, you know, I go out then and purchase more food. Or if they run, or, or if we run out on, um, how can I say, um, water, you know, essential items, I'll go out and and get it. I haven't been to Dollar Tree shopping for non-essential items because, um, my my mind, I need to get what's important. I see all the cutesy little things that everyone is hauling and showing. It's cute. But right now, that's not where my mind is focused. I'm focused on getting myself in the store, out, and back home. Um, so that's what's been going on with me. Quarantine life is not that bad. You know, my children are not terrible. Um, my husband, he still have to work because he's an essential worker. And as for me, hey, it is what it is. Now... This weekend, I am going to film myself braiding my hair. And yes, I know how to braid my own hair, but I got lazy over the years. I always went to someone and let them do it, but I know how to braid my own hair. And this is where it comes. I'm going to give you a little story time about Wilford Academy. In New York City, when I lived in New York City, I went to a school called Wilford Academy. And this is in the 90s, okay? I went to a school in New York City, in Queens, as a matter of fact. It was one in Queens, and it was one in Brooklyn. But I went to one in Queens, and that's where I was living. And I went, it was called Whitford Academy. And when I went to this school, I was pregnant with my second child. Um, So I went to the school. I got through it. I got through the basics, and then I moved to, clinic, to clinicals. Um, That's when you do hair. I was one of the girls that... When people get their hair done, they will come to me and they will get their hair done at a discount price. Now, at the most popular style that was going on back then, remember the finger waves and the, and the bun? I used to kill it. Everybody came to me for finger waves, okay? Everybody. Now, I had a technique where when I did my finger waves, I would use a comb and then a rat tail comb. And I used to slay the mess out of some finger waves i haven't done finger waves in a long time um i probably if i got a mannequin i probably could still do it but i haven't done finger waves in like oh my god over 10 years i haven't done any finger waves but anyway so as for the bun the bun was a little bit challenging challenging for me but i, I got to the point where i would slay that as well now it was at the time where i was down to my last few um hours no i had all my hours it's time to graduate. So now we got to prepare for graduation. Well, I go into labor, right? I go into labor. I go into the hospital and stuff like that. So when I was in the hospital, when I came out the hospital, a friend of mine that went to the same school that I went to, hey, called me and was like, hey, did you hear what's going on? I'm like, no, what happened? They was like, the school is closed. I said, what you mean the school is closed? I, now I had my white uniform, our, our white graduation uniform, shoes, everything. I'm ready to take this test so I can become a licensed, you know, hairdresser. And I said, but what do you mean the school is closed? So, <clears throat> she was like, the school is closed. I said, okay. She came by, we talked. She said, we supposed to be graduating. How can this happen? But, well, for the academy, they let us know they filed for bankruptcy. Okay. So, money that I paid into the school... I was like, okay, I need my money back. ASAP. I need my money back. Well, a couple of months went past. Um, I did get a check in the mail for the amount of dollars that I spent 
to enter the school. Then they also gave us the option of going to Paul Mitchell. Now, Paul Mitchell, was the one I went to, was on, uh, what street was that? Steinway Street in Queens. I went to the Paul Mitchell over there. So, at that time, they didn't let me transfer my hours. I had to go to class all over again. They didn't let me transfer or keep my hours that I had accumulated in Wilford Academy. And I was like, what? So, I got kind of discouraged, and I didn't even go back. So I didn't even get a chance to finish and graduate and get my license to become a hairdresser. I have all this knowledge of knowing how to do hair, but because of what happened with Wilford Academy, it just really ruined my spirit. So after that, I was like, you know what? I'm never doing hair again. I don't even care about having a salon or owning a salon or working in a salon. I'm just over and done with it. Well, I had a few clients and when I had when Wilford Academy, they would come to my house. So I used to relax here at my home. I used to clip, you know, do hairstyling, do weaves, do all that in my home. But then again, something was happening where they were sending out people to see who was doing hair in their home without a license at the time. So I said, you know what? I'm about to stop this altogether because I'm not going to be getting in trouble over this. So all of that came to an end. So yes, your girl Phone Jones went to Wilford Academy okay Wilford Academy to get her hairdressing license become a hairstylist a, beauti a beautician okay and I never did finish because I went to labor with my daughter came back out the school was shut down but I did get my money that I paid into the school I did get it back but I just felt like I was really hurt. You know what I'm saying? I was really hurt. I was like, dang, man, I could have been a fly beautician, but it is what it is. So after that, I went back into the health field. I went back into the health field and started working with senior citizens. I did that for a couple of years, about five or six years. And then I got tired of that. And I said, uh, you know, this is it. Because now things happened. You know, my life had changed. You know, my husband and I wasn't together anymore. So it was basically me. My first husband, I'm going to say, um, it was basically me just working and taking care of the kids, you know, there by myself, even though he played a part in it. He came and got them on the weekends. We had to do it, but still. So I just said, you know what? I got enough money saved for a rainy day. I'm just going to stay home with my kids. And that's what I did. I stayed. I became a stay at home mom. I would, my, my kids went to school. I would come home. I would clean the house from top to bottom. I would make dinner. So by the time they got off from school and got home, they had a snack, take your bath, help with homework. We eat dinner, they go to bed. And that's how it was until they became high schoolers. So that's that. So see what happens when, when you quarantine, you start thinking about a lot of things and stuff start coming to you you know so that was that i just wanted to let you guys know in the story time that i did go to wilford academy i went to school that was my passion to become a beautician i want to be the, the flyest hairdresser child but it didn't happen and plus going to that paul mitchell school i did not like it i didn't like the school i didn't like the people in the school it was just something i just could not get used to i was like nah this is totally different from you know my school they did things differently but anyway that's what i want to share with you guys today i hope you have fun or i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed listening so another side of your girl pj you know it is what it is so um oh i also want to show you my fountain that i have set up in my living room i did put it on instagram but i know a lot of you don't have instagram so what i'm going to do is once i get my living room the way i want it to be i am going to show you my fountains that i have sitting on my glass tables so beautiful so relaxing so serene so i just want to show you got that once i get everything together in there so you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will talk to y'all later okay all right have a good one